Bob, thank you. Violently gunned down. Right now, Baltimore County police are investigating who shot and killed a former Morgan State University alum and student athlete. New tonight, WJZ is learning the victim was a witness in a double murder earlier this year. WJZ is live at Morgan State. George Solis has details of this ongoing investigation. George? Yeah, Mary, Baltimore County police say details are limited in what they say was the targeted shooting of Morgan State alum Tracy Carrington. Now, a source does tell WJZ that she was indeed the witness to a double murder in Towson earlier this year. Meanwhile, university officials are mourning her death and hoping for justice soon. Questions are now swirling following the death of former Morgan State University student athlete and Baltimore native Tracy Carrington. Baltimore County police say the 25 year old and a friend had just left the SNS lounge off Bel Air Road Thursday night. She was about to get into a car when an unknown gunman walked up and shot her. Authorities say Carrington was struck multiple times. She was pronounced dead at the scene. Her friend was unharmed. Police say they believe it was a targeted shooting. There was no other crime that was involved. There's no robbery, there's no theft. Um, he didn't approach her, he didn't try to steal the car. He came right up to her, shot her multiple times, and left. Friday night, Baltimore defense attorney Warren Brown telling WJZ Carrington was a witness to a double murder that took place earlier this year at this Towson apartment complex. Investigators say two victims were found shot inside. Brown's firm is representing the two brothers' prosecutors charged with the murders. Both men were later released on bail. Brown telling WJZ his clients have been and are currently on electronic monitored home detention. At the moment, police only have vague details, including a suspect description, what color the getaway car was, and what direction they fled in. Authorities looking for anyone that may have seen anything, no matter how small of a detail. If they saw something, it could be important, and we're asking them to contact us. Meanwhile, some Morgan State students are left hurting by the tragedy. Yes, yeah, it's just sad. Uh... It's really daunting. It, it really is. Morgan officials issuing a statement to WJZ saying, in part, they are saddened by the tragedy. According to her bio on the university's website, Carrington was a guard on the team. Her sophomore year, she was named captain, playing in 31 games. Now, we should note tonight, Baltimore County Police tweeting out they are not confirming Carrington was a witness to that double murder. Brown telling us he plans on holding some type of media briefing over this weekend to address the speculation. Meanwhile, university officials tell us that she graduated, Carrington rather, graduated in May 2015 with a degree in sociology. Live outside Morgan State tonight, George Soules reporting for WJZ.